So, what's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? If you're on this video, that means you've seen part one, right? If not, you're going to be completely lost. So, I advise you go back, look in the description box, and catch part one. These poly trans things, I'm upset because I saw two of these things and I just didn't even, I think I picked it up and looked at it and was like, eh, and just threw it to the side. But I kept going throughout and like right in the end, I saw another one. So I just grabbed it and just did a quick scan with the phone, didn't even scan the barcode and it popped up. And I was mad that I didn't grab the other ones because the store was closing. See, now, now it won't even pop up. But there it is right there, okay. Paul, I had to type it in and used my profit will be $15 and new my profit will be 17. So selling for 24 new, 22 used. I haven't even opened it, but I know there's like three more. So I'll be going back tomorrow and see if I can find the other three and there'll be $2 tomorrow. So my profit will increase $5. So that's pretty good. And it's 11,000 in uh, lawns and gardens. So we know it's gonna sell. This is advanced C serum. And it's selling new for $21. $21.99. My profit's gonna be $12.38. That's profit. <clears throat> Titan Gold Gel. I'm not gonna say what it is out loud. But these are for men. And I bought it because because when I looked at, when I looked it up, they were selling like two packs for like thirty four bucks, thirty four dollars. But it looks like it came with something else. And that's the listing that I saw. But looking at it right now, live, there's another listing with, it doesn't have a price next to it. And I can send in one individually. So I'm assuming they're going for like 15, 17 bucks individually. If a two pack is going for $34.99. So hopefully I'm gonna send like two, two or three in, because the other ones look a little bit rough on the box, but I can sell the other ones locally at the jock -a lot because again, men love the things that can help them out. These Fiskars, I was happy when I saw them because I sold these before. And they're 497 rank. They have a bunch of items that's in like the hundreds of ranks, so that's pretty good. But my profit's gonna be ten dollars and sixty-two cents. Got it favorited because I sold it already. Apparently, there's. I hope I didn't pay three dollars for this. I don't even know what it is. This must have just fell in my bag. <laughs> wow. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get to the second bag. I gotta hurry up and list. Got a lot of work I gotta do. Oh man, double bag. Shower head. So I was book. It's called Honeybees Entomology. And it's selling for $97 on Amazon. Used. They have a price for like $173, but we know that's not right. 
um, new. Again, it's selling for $97. It has a horrible rank. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's uh, 19 million in books, which means one might sell every four or five months, maybe. But I bought it anyway just because the profit was just so ridiculous. If they're selling new for $97, I can just easily probably put this on 50, 50 bucks and hopefully it'll sell quicker because the prices drop drastically. Maybe somebody will see it and just scoop it up because they know what to do. So yeah, book selling for 97 new. We'll see what happens. Here goes another legend budget planner. These things again sell for like 20 something bucks. Found this game deal or no deal for the week. Don't even know why I grabbed it. It's really not profitable at all, but Found some more, another legend planner. This was actually the very first thing I saw when I walked in there. So, and I know there's stuff they sell. This book's called Medieval Text and Concept. Medieval Text in Context. And it is selling for $90 used, $166 new. Another one of those situations where it has a horrible ranking, 18 million in books, but if I lower my price, hopefully like 50 bucks, maybe it'll sell. This book, 8,900 in books, used is selling for $35, new selling for $29 which makes no sense. So I'll probably put this for $22. So my profit will be around, if I sell it for 22, my profit will be $10.85. Books sell for 19 bucks. Two million in books. That's my that's usually my go-to. Two million books and under I'll grab. Uh, profits ten dollars. This book is all nice and neat. Skin barcode. International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. Sell for $45.98 new. Used, it's only selling for $16. So, it looks new to me. That's why I grabbed it. So I'm, I'm gonna try to really look at it and if I can get it out, sell it for new, my profit will be like 30 bucks. If not, my profit's only gonna be like three. So, profit's profit. Now this book is worth a hundred and something bucks. new but you can't sell it new on Amazon which is crazy yeah it has a, a good rank I mean 335,000 in books uh, if I sell it used the profit will be six bucks if I sell it new which I can't, my profit would have been 90 bucks. So it's just one of those situations where I, you can sell it in every condition but new. So I'll probably try to put it in collectible like new and try to get the max out of it. And if it just sits for longer than a month or something, then I'll just drop the price and just take whatever profit I can. But it has a great rank, so hopefully I'll get some eyes on it. And once they see the pictures of how new it is, the factory sealed and how everything's in here, then I might can make some money. Oh, so, well, check this out, guys. I just scanned this. There's a course made in here. And I just scanned it. By itself, that's $33.95 profit. 
So I might break them apart and sell them separately. Who knows? I'm just trying to give you a little bit of mindset of how I source and what I look for while I source. This book, 52 Meat Loaves, still sealed, nice. Selling for $28 new, probably gonna be $14. And the rank was a million in books. This book called Saved by the Cake is going for $49.98. Some people are trying to sell it for $38. There's one for $96. But the lowest is $53 used. That's what pops up. When you scan this book, used is what pops up first. And that's $53. Yeah, so I'll see if I can sell mine for like 40 bucks and make $32 profit, something like that. Exhalation. Book selling for $16.14. Don't know why I bought it. I see one where they're selling for $41.85 and maybe that's why I bought it. Maybe that's when I scanned it popped up first. But scanning it here now, it has a good rank, 357,000 in books. But again, $16.14. My profit will be $6 used. Sell it new, profit will be $11. Still wrapped up, so I'll probably sell it new. Like I said, it has a good rank in books. Almost done. Sex Lies and Headlocks. Books about uh, wrestling. The real story of Vince McMahon and the World Wrestling Federation. This book selling for $36.99 new. Well, this, is, this is not new at all. This is used and the profit will be $3 which means if I sent this in, I would make zero dollars. So therefore, you know, I kept it for myself because I'm a wrestling fan. Map of Meaning the Architectural Beliefs. This book has a ranking of 4,000 and it's selling for Used $42.99. My profit is going to be $26.32. Amazon taking a lot of money, $13.67. But anyways, yeah, might could sell that. Might just fulfill that myself and make that extra $13. Okay, final two items. A little light on spiritual laws. Sell used for 23 bucks. $15 is my profit. Which really is 12 and some change. Essential grammar in use. Book selling new for $29.05. My profit is going to be $14.99. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's, um, that's all the items I got today. Again, 40 items, 120 something dollars spent. Potential profit? I don't know. I need to figure that out. But yeah, I'm kind of I'm happier than I thought I was because I thought I got some crap to be honest. 
But uh, there's, there's, there's probably like three or four of these books that'll never sell, I think, in my, in my personal opinion. But I think I have enough items to cover everything else. So I should definitely be a profit. Especially with the Kenmore's, the baby thing, and, and this thing. I mean, that's making my money back. So, yeah, any combination of things, money back. Uh, these stuff right here sells my money back. If just two or three books sell, money back. So, I, I yeah, definitely gonna make my money back. But anyways, I'm rambling now. Make sure you drop a like on the video. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. If you don't like what you see, give me a thumbs down. That's just how YouTube works. That way I know I need to improve and what better content I can provide for you guys. Um, the next time I do go sourcing, I will let you actually see me. But today, it was another one of those days. I woke up late. And I was like, ah, I gotta get to this place before. Then I forgot my camera, so I really couldn't take any video. But uh, I got another special video coming up for y'all tomorrow that I'm recording. So I don't know which order, which video would drop, but it's gonna be a banger. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, and thank you for subscribing. Smoke up that like button. Smuck up that subscribe button. Just smuck up all the buttons. Just hit them all. Just like, share, subscribe, comment, and all that. Because I need it. Anyways, we're on the road to 500 subscribers right now. Which is pretty good considering I took a um, seven month layoff off of YouTube. But anyways, we're going to get back on the hustle, guys. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. But for now... Tay is out. Go Tar Heels.